Did we mention it's the second day of summer? <laughs> You hear that? Yeah, how can you not? And this is why we have four wheel drive. <laughs> oh, yeah. Blind downhill curve, and once you get going, it's a narrow bridge. And I'm going to give him some moral support. That's what he thinks I'm doing. Oh, let's do it. Oh, shoot. nice. 23 gallons of arctic fuel <laughs> yeah it's zoomed in oh so we could go over this little bridge and there could be a road and... so in 0.4 miles <laughs> you're supposed to be a campground they said it's supposed to be here <laughs> oh my you feeling lucky well the good news is that I know we didn't miss the turn because no. there's only one road to get the Pruda. Somewhere around here is a campground. We have no idea where. Because we saw the campground sign. And it's in the brochure, but on the main road you can't see there's no campground sign the national park service brochure yeah so we're just kind of taking a leap of faith here that the campground is somewhere yeah i don't know where but it's somewhere it's somewhere up here but david's on a mission he, you're a man with a mission you're gonna get to that campground we are gonna started. stay at that <laughs> campground tonight yay we found it Woo! An actual sign. We left the campground an hour and a half ago, and that was 25 miles ago. That's right. And five of that it was just getting was to just the highway. Getting back to the Dalton Highway. Right. From so, the campground. So we've only gone 20 miles in. Towards Dead Horse. Yeah. <laughs> but we have learned on this trip you have to be patient very patient and you have to sort of take what the road gives you <laughs> and it doesn't give a lot no it doesn't <laughs> except heartache and pain yeah, broken dishes but, fortunately that hasn't happened yet yeah no it's it, it's been very i'll say smooth sailing except the road has been very rough yeah but at least the the views are just incredible really incredible and i don't know it's just it's the arctic man <laughs> it's the arctic you're gonna be hearing this for the next five days <laughs> how can that not be just amazing This is going to sound kind of geeky, but we have spent our second night in the Arctic, in an RV. In the Arctic. Not the Arctic Circle, but the Arctic. The Arctic. I mean, we're on the North Slope. Uh-huh. I mean, you read about that with the Alaska Pipeline and yeah. such, but man... It's I mean, just cool. This is like High Plains Tundra. Once you get through the Brooks Mountain Range, it's just, I mean... It's tundra. It's, it's tundra. wide open tundra yeah. with mountains in the distance. But, man, to, to have spent already two nights in the Arctic, That's that just... Wild. Does that sound cool? It does. <laughs> in an that RV. Gives, I can say that gives me chill bumps, but... Well, it's 43 degrees outside so right now. So that would be chill bumps. Yeah, and... Um, yeah, so just, I don't know. It's wow. just really amazing. It is. So last night, <laughs> overnighting in the Arctic. Here we Did go. I mention that before? <laughs> no, you haven't. And Where are we? <laughs> we turn on our phones and we had coverage. 
Mm -hmm. well, I had coverage. 4G. Yeah. Five bars. I was like, what? Well, AT and T. Yeah. And T Mobile. And yes. And my T -Mobile. Verizon was like, eh, 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 not that great. So that was about 170 miles from Dead Horse. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're like, we're nowhere. Yeah. Now we're about 110 miles from Dead Horse, mm -hmm. and lo and behold... We see a cell tower. Yeah. I've got coverage. He has. at and T. I've got 4G, 4G, five bars. Yeah. So we saw these, I saw these two big buildings just out in the middle of nowhere, and that looks kind of odd. And then just a mile or two later, there was this big cell tower. Yeah. So I thought, what the heck? Let me turn on my phone nothing of course yeah. and David I turned on David's phone and voila AT&T coverage so that's just amazing that we're up here in the Arctic <laughs> and we actually have cell coverage and there's like nothing around no, us nothing. I mean nothing, nothing. Okay, these rough roads are worth it. We're going slow enough that I spot the musk ox. I'm so excited. We're Woo! right here by the Sag River. And then, so we went out once, came back, and then drove down the road, came back out again to get a better look at this herd. Yeah, I mean, it's oh, a big so herd. Huge right herd. Right there by the river. You can't Man. miss them. So, while driving towards Dead Horse, off in the distance, we saw some muskox. And Sandra wants to get a picture of them. Now, we're walking towards the Sag River, and hopefully, we'll be able to get a good view of them as they're uh, lounging, resting down by the uh, riverbed these construction trucks the big old gravel dump trucks were coming by and oh they were so sweet they were slowing down and then the last one came by and he started slowing and you know we're giving him a wave and giving him the thumbs up to say you know we're we're okay so he stops rolls down his window we're like okay we're okay yeah. we're okay and he's like no go down the road right by the river you can see him There's real close one near the road I'm like, oh my gosh let's go thank you so that's where we're going so here are the musk ox that the truck driver told us about. And they are a little closer to the road. We are climbing what's called Ice Cut. And um, they say to call on your CB radio channel 19 to say, hey, I'm coming down this blind curve here. So we're going to... Once we get up close to the top, we'll probably hug the side of the road. But in the meantime, I'm going to look at this nice view. I guess I have to, to open up the vent. So we get ready to head out on our fourth day on the Dalton up here in the did i say arctic region no where are we the arctic we are <laughs> right here but some of the necessary items that you'll need is brochures from the national park and the blm service a mosquito swatter that's important that we found out head nets yeah. oh yeah for those pesky mosquitoes for those items that aren't covered by the aforementioned items, off, DEET, and you need to have the DEET stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Obviously, drinks for the trip because wherever you're going, it's going to take you a long time. Oh, and don't forget the snacks. Oh, and the camera oh, because have of the, the wildlife. <laughs> and then all of the snacks. But definitely the mosquito swatter, the DEET. And, and the, the camera. camera. Yes. <laughs> ah, do you hear that? Hear what? <laughs> That's the, exactly. That is the sound of pavement and doing like 45 miles an hour. Wow. <laughs> and we're still on the Dalton. We are. Yeah. I, I can't believe it. This is really nice. Yeah. So we were talking about there are, and we happened to stop at these sections right. of road 
But Just, it's like you get bad stretches yeah. of the Dalton, and we seem to stop right by the start of a good section. If you look at where we've stopped and that section, it's, it's been, you can definitely, is that a muskox? Oh, I think it is. Hold on. Here's the reason why Sandra dropped the phone. <laughs> a muskox on the side of the road between us and the Sag River. He's still got his winter coat on. Oh, and it's beautiful. It's really nice. It just sort of floats and flutters as he walks around or the a little bit of breeze uh, catches him. So anyhow, <laughs> that was really amazing. Yeah, that was, that was neat cool. to see right on the driving up to Dead Horse. Yeah. There's a muskox yeah. uh, the day on the second day. And then, Actually, fourth day. And then now. Up in the Arctic. Oh, yes. <laughs> so but, what's funny is we were just talking about how smooth yeah. the road is. We stopped the video to get the pictures of the muskox, and now we're back on rough gravel. Yeah, but it's not real bad. No. We've had worse. Yeah, because you're actually going 30 miles an hour. That's really good yesterday. Oh, man. we It was horrible. Yeah, it was We terrible. averaged. We did not stop for meals yesterday just twice to take pictures of some more muskox. Yeah. And we averaged 14.7 miles an hour. Yeah. That's how rough the roads were, just washboard. Yeah, so it was uh, not really good. At not all. at all. The first day was... Brutal. Brutal. That but, 80 miles plus the Dalton, yeah. going, going to the Arctic Circle, that road was brutal. But now we're sort of navigating around some of these things yeah. we kind of are more prepared for it yes on our fourth day or third day in the arctic <laughs> look what we found <laughs> brand new paved road in the arctic <laughs> <laughs> so we go from Oh my gosh, super smooth to washboard. And then it looks like we're gonna pick up the smooth again. Yeah, so a short section of gravel washboard. Hey, that's okay. Man. Look at this, brand new. It's like a super highway. It is, how nice is this? A super highway in the Arctic. <laughs> I have to listen to this. <laughs> For 600 miles, 300 up and 300 back. That's right, because only 600 up and back is in the Arctic. <laughs> About 30 miles from Dead Horse, we uh, actually Sandra spotted a, a bush <laughs> Arctic grizzly bear, and he is rooting around. He is pretty active, too. He is a bear on a mission. A mission for food. But what? But yeah, what kind of food? Maybe an arctic ground squirrel? Or an arctic berry bush? Arctic roots? We well, you know one thing. It's going to be an arctic something that he's going to get. This is where the road has, he's, is he waving us on? Oh, he is. No, no, don't wave us on. I want to take some pictures. Ah. But this is the ice. Look at that. Amazing. Well, they are making some good progress. Man, no kidding. Getting all this in. Oh, look at that. Niagara Falls. Wow. Oh, they're having to get down to the very bottom. Oh, man. No kidding. Excavated. Wow. Yeah. That is just one solid sheet of ice. Wow. Mm. That, say it. That's not just ice. That's Arctic ice. 
Industrial, it looks really super clean. There's no trash on the Dalton Highway. So we've heard that this is the official end of the Dalton Highway. Lake Colleen, it is frozen. This great big roundabout. It's the Arctic roundabout. Wow, is that all housing over there? Uh. Oh, look at that blue one. It's above the, um, it's just everything is built oh, yeah. up. Everything's mobile. It almost looks like you could put it on wheels. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Or like at the, the space it. shuttle, what they do with the, you know, moving the space shuttle. Yeah, exactly. Oh, these buildings are just wild. So the fuel is that way, but we're going to. We're gonna do that tomorrow. Yeah. Man, this is super industrial. It is. I'm going to Brooks Supply. Brooks Supply. Brooks Range Supply. Oh, as in the uh, Brooks Mountain Range. Yes. Is this it? Brooks yep. Ranch. Range. Brooks Range, Range Supply. Supply. Office Commons. So we said upstairs, so downstairs is the hardware, hardware store. store, and upstairs is the general supply. Yeah. You gonna, oh, I wonder if they'll let us plug in and charge our batteries. <laughs> yeah, really. We're at 100% though, so yeah. wow, look mm -hmm. at this. They're just stacked on top of each other. Man. That's incredible. Brooks Camp. Hmm. That is another, that's another hotel. Yeah. All right, we We're made it. We're here. We Woo! made it. <laughs> but we can't, we can't say we survived the Dalton Highway because we're only halfway. We made it up. We made it obviously, up. Obviously, because we're at Dead Horse. Yeah, made it to the end, but, but now we got to go down. After a day or so, we're going to have to turn around and head back. Yeah. And then we'll know. Then, we'll, then I can use the sticker I bought, We Survived the Dalton Highway. <laughs> That's right. Until then, she got to store it, like yes. save it. All right, so upstairs from the tools and hardware store is an actual general, general store, store gift, shop. gift shop. Man, maybe a little bit of groceries. I don't know. Uh, but it's, man, they got clothes and uh, different kinds of items, stickers for uh, Sandra. So it's a pretty interesting, yeah. Very interesting. One of the only games in town in Prudo, but it's pretty nice. <laughs> there are no prices on anything in this store, <laughs> if you have to ask. <laughs> you I'm can't afford saying. it. Man, because they're the only game in town. Literally. If you need it, you're going to buy it. There are no prices. Oh, you couldn't handle that. Uh -uh potential option for our stay tonight is a an old gravel pit. David's going to get out and look just to make sure that we can make that hump. And if there's a place to turn around, see how level it is. It's pretty <laughs> solid down there. Well, I and see you jump up and down. Uh -uh. And there's room to turn around. It looks like it's relatively level. Okay. Um, quiet, and it's kind of got a berm around here. So yeah, in case it's supposed to be windy and, tomorrow. And no gate. So I think. No gates are good. No gates are good. All right. <clears throat> we are in uh, Prudhoe Bay. Actually, we're in Dead Horse. Yes. And we came here for a couple reasons, but one was to freeze our feet off in the Arctic Ocean. Okay, that's on your bucket list, <laughs> not mine. 
Did we mention it's the second day of summer? <laughs> Technically, that's true. Where we are at is the Arctic Ocean. And <laughs> the here we- The ultimate water test. <laughs> really? And even I'm going to try it. So we're both going to test the water. There's ice out there. We know it's cold. But it's the Arctic Ocean, and you've got to do it. We took a shuttle here, which up here on the north slope at the Dead Horse, Prudhoe Bay, is the only way you can get to the Arctic Ocean. Is and we had to give him our firstborn, go through a security check. That's right, our licenses. We had to wear safety glasses on the bus. <laughs> Whew, OK. Arctic Ocean, the ultimate <laughs> water test. Sandra says she's going to do it. I'm going to do it, gosh darn it. Oh, man. Woo. So first, yeah, it's cold. Oh, did you test it? Oh, I've tested Let it. see? It's cold. Am I going to be able to do it? You can do it quick, but it's really cold. I mean, it's like really like it hurts cold. And why like do I really want to do hurts this? cold. Oh man. But it's a nice sandy bottom. <laughs> yeah. But it is okay. That hurts. Okay, my turn. Oh, oh man. Oh yeah. Your turn. Woo! Okay. Oh, it's cold. I'm not even in yet. <laughs> hey David. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I dip my toe you in it. You dip your toe in Does it. Does that count? That counts. That's Doesn't funny. count as much as mine. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Oh, well, it's just cold out here. Let me just hurry and do it and get it over with. <gasps> Holy Just do it. Oh, shoot. nice. Oh, I'm on my tippy toes. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, I did it. I did it. Oh. Oh. Good job. Oh. Hurts. That I, hurts. I told you that hurts. That like really, really hurts. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's cold. Well, the good news is now my feet are so numb, I can't feel anything. Yeah. Oh, did you get them? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy people. <laughs> Crazy people, man. All right, that is cold water. It's my feet are tingling now because they're starting to get a, a, my feeling back. Yeah. It is, it was cold. Yeah. I mean, hurt cold, but man, it's you pretty can, cool though to, to be here at the Arctic Ocean. Yeah, you can now say you have tested the water in the Arctic Ocean. That's right. Not yeah. only my hands. You dipped your toes dipped in Dipped my it. toes, and, and you did too. Yes. Very proud of her for doing that. That's tough because that's cold. Hurt cold. <laughs> Hurt cold. Uh. Okay. Well, as you saw, we did it. We did it. <laughs> we drove like 500 miles of rough road just to freeze ourselves. Oh man, and my toes are just now, they're tingling. They're just now yeah. getting feeling back. And it's 38 <laughs> degrees, the wind is blowing. I don't know what the wind chill is, but I can't imagine what it's like oh, in the winter time. Man. It's just, this is brutal. Brutal. Our hands are freezing from holding the cameras. Oh, and, I know. So it's, we're gonna get this, keep this short. But, it's cold, very cold, but this but is the Arctic Ocean behind us. Yeah. No polar bears, but what an experience. This is, wow, I'm this glad we did it. Unbelievable. This is so cool to see the Arctic Ocean and, and to, to be in the Arctic. Yeah, and to dip our toes in uh, mm -hmm. in the Arctic. It's yeah. uh, it's man, it's really unbelievable. It is. Yeah.
All right. Did you hear that? Yeah. How can you not? Yeah, that loud pitched. Okay. I don't know what that is. We got to check it out. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Really? 674 for diesel? Is that all? Well, that's cheaper than Coldfoot. Wow. They truck it up here and it's 674. Gee, honey. <laughs> where are you going this beautiful <laughs> summer day? <laughs> I'm going out to fuel. <laughs> Gee, aren't you gonna come out and <laughs> support me? <laughs> Maybe for a second. <laughs> I can always film you from the side view mirror. <laughs> yeah, in these like 25 mile an hour winds at yeah, so it's 40 degrees. 40 and, degrees. The wind chill on the weather app is showing 28. Yeah. yeah it is it's cold. cold. Time for more fuel. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I can't always get to my journal every night and what I like to do is I'll just like bulletize in the journal you know what we did for the day and I'm since I can't get to it every night um, I take pictures of everything that we do, so I like, then I go back and look at my pictures and say, oh, okay, well, this is everything that we did. So that is one of the main reasons why I always feel, uh, I always video David um, fueling so that I can remember, oh yeah, we, we went and got fuel today, but every travel day in Curiosity seems to be a fuel day. So um, He's now fueling, and I'm going to give him some moral support. That's what he thinks I'm doing. Um, it's really for the journal. Um, but I've got to gear up. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at the size of that. Oh, it's massive. And it's the got hose. Like a valve. Oh my goodness yeah, gracious. This is a, uh, so, can you control the flow with that valve? To a certain degree, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's more of an emergency shut off, I think, because some some will flow out of there. Yeah. But it's not uh, 100, you know, full 100%. All right. 674. I'm grateful for that. All right, well, I'm going to go back inside. <laughs> yeah, it's a little chilly out here. It is. Oh, and so this is pretty crazy. All of the fuel pumps, these are all diesel pumps here, um, are in their own little garage. So beyond the temperature being cold outside and windy, mm -hmm. I'm feeling pretty cool right now because I just put in about 23 gallons of Arctic fuel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's Crazy. pretty cool. That is. Arctic fuel. <laughs> so it's Friday night, and I'm going to take you out Arctic style, <laughs> dead horse style. Oh, hopefully we're not going to be eating dead horses. <laughs> <laughs> no. We're going to check out uh, the finest hotel eating establishment. Actually, I think it's the only eating establishment for non-contractual people in Dead Horse. All right. The Aurora Hotel. Ooh. And we're going to have dinner. Nice. Yes. And by the way, we actually did talk to some of the contractors and they eat here too. So we're going to eat what all these contractors eat. Yeah, and kind of experience uh, what everyone who works up here, yeah. what they experience. Exactly. So be interesting. Yeah. protected get some snow drifts smoking oh yeah booties yeah. booties are mandatory but we brought our own booties yeah. we want to recycle <laughs> we can you can tell you're in a fancy establishment when they want booties or in Japan yeah Let's go. I think they said to go to the uh, front desk. I think so. Oh, I'm sorry.
<laughs> so I guess they have mosquitoes up here too. Okay, I planned this really good. Oh. Because Friday night, hamburgers. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, salad was not on the menu, but I am definitely getting a salad. Oh, broccoli. He didn't see that. Nice selection of drinks. All of this is included for $22. And it looks like they have a Sunday bar and some nice condiments. Boy, did you see the broccoli? I saw the broccoli. It's a nice salad bar. It is. That's all the good stuff. Barbecue chicken, mac and cheese, and look at all the burgers. Oh, are you gonna get an egg on your burger? <laughs> no way. Mm. Oh, wow. German chocolate cake, cheesecake, double chocolate cake, and peach cobbler. Oh boy. Our home for the night. We're gonna be sleeping in a gravel pit. We found a place on the river, the Sag River, but the wind is just blowing like crazy so we figured if um, we stayed here last night and it was really nice and we're hoping that being down here will block us a little bit from the wind. Is it cold? Well yeah we're up in the Arctic. <laughs> but it's Arctic water. But it's Arctic water so it's not as cold. No. Oh my. Yeah. So you're just gonna like chunk it? I'm gonna splash it and then I'm gonna uh, do a couple step phase. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, it's zoomed in. Oh. Ew. David squeegee. Actually, this isn't too bad. We've seen a lot worse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Should I video this from the inside like the Matrix? Um... <laughs> really? All right, thank you very much. Well, it's not gonna be perfect. Uh, at least we we'll can see out of it now. This is a view out of our back window. I'm going to start tracking the sun. So we're here at the Cummins Ford Service Center and we drove around the lake and curiosity starts squeaking really, really bad. Like all of a sudden. All of a sudden it was like and we yep. panicked and it's like, oh my gosh. You know, it's so, a bearing or something. It's a bearing and we're going to be stuck up here in the Arctic, you know. <laughs> So we stopped by here and the guys were fantastic and I mean we nice, just nice. we described the problem. He knew exactly, exactly what it was yeah. and told us how to fix it. This is it happens up here all, all the, the time. time. So apparently a rock got caught between I guess the, the calipers or something like that. It happens all the time. So he says, Yeah, all you have to do is just back up and apply the brakes and you'll be fine. Yeah, now there is a technical name for that. It's called Between a Rock and a Hard Place. <laughs> oh, his humor continues. That's known as an Arctic joke. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. 
so the people up here have been wonderful. They've taken their time out to, to talk to us and answer all our questions. And I, I guess, guess they also like seeing like different faces different. up here yeah. too. <laughs> this is the same people over and over. Yeah. So, so uh, they really all like nice. and they all like telling their stories too. And the stories are just just fascinating. Oh yeah. I mean, this is it's really neat. This is a really cool town. Very and the interesting. The people here are amazing. So no matter how slow you go, you will get dust in your rig. This road is super dusty, and we found that this window and also the TV cabinet outside is letting a little bit of dust in. So um, David's taping them up, and we'll be good to go. <laughs> Troubles I had have been washed away I'm cleaning up my act and moving on In the silence of my room I sleep all night and get up at noon There's nothing to distract me in my dreams Like a pillow on my face No one can hurt or invade my space I still walk
about it's early. <laughs> it's twelve forty in the evening afternoon and we decided that we're gonna go ahead and stop for the day and treat ourselves to, to a, a BLM campground. Yeah. We're just gonna take it easy today. I think we deserve it after yesterday. Yesterday was a long day. It was a long day. Very long day. But we powered through it. Yeah. We got over the pass. We got over the shelf and all that mud. Now, you can't tell because we're so muddy and nasty right yes. now. But that was because we were down south. So Yeah, exactly. And uh, forecasted rain. So it's raining now. So we did a, I think we did good planning-wise. Well, let's... That is too cute. Ah. Our site at Marion Creek Campground, just five miles outside of Coldfoot, Alaska. We are about 175 miles from the end of the Dalton Highway. Thought we'd take a little break here for a couple of nights, get caught up on a few things, and then head on south. He went under. He's swimming yep. under the water. Yes, he is. That little All stinker. You knew I was going to video you, didn't you, little twerp? If it seems too good to be true, it usually is. We found this spot off the side of the road. It's quiet, it's secluded, but we are being swarmed inside by mosquitoes. So it's uh, 7.30 at night and we're gonna head on down the road to see if there's another spot we can find. <laughs> Mosquitoes are still here, here. <laughs> but we made it. Yes. Um, I'm actually kind of sad. This was the Arctic trip was a lot of fun. It was. Oh yeah, this is so much. This fun. is a lot of fun. Yeah, <laughs> covered yeah, in mud. Look at curiosity. That's so much fun. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're we're back, and it was a lot of fun. Our uh -huh. Arctic adventure. We're heading to Fairbanks. And man, this is what you were saying earlier. This is probably as dark as it's been. It has been. In 10 days for yeah. us. <laughs> so we'll catch you guys later. <laughs>